Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got something really cool to share with you guys. Uh, something that I got really excited about, I think a couple of weeks ago, when I saw it listed as coming soon to Blade HQ. I've got it here today. Now, I do want to point out, I checked before I even started recording. Um, these, the first batch, I think are sold out. I wanted to make sure and let you guys know, because there's always some nose hair in the comments. It's like, Metal Complex sold out all the times. Uh. I didn't do it. <laughs> They're already sold out, but there's going to be another batch. Uh, I checked with Blade HQ. More of these are coming, um, so make sure you guys pay attention. I will link this down in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to Blade HQ for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex and on TikTok at the underscore Metal underscore Complex. I think you guys probably know what it is. I haven't even... I haven't gotten it out yet. It's The packaging was just kind of like this. But, uh, yeah, this is the XOM. I, people are referring it uh, referring to it as the budget edition, right? Heavy, you know, uh, grain of salt there with what I'm saying because it's not a sub-$75 knife. It's just a less expensive version of a knife that people expect to be at a certain price point. What is this? What, 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 uh, why do we have this like thing here i just i'm curious what this is it is oh it's your it's just extra hardware and stuff and a little a little patch oh that's nice that they have boxed that up for you i kind of you know what i do kind of like that though because a lot of times you open up the box and it just stuff explodes everywhere okay anyways let's get to this what do we have here the <laughs> blade hq exclusive edition Riot XOM in aluminum and Nitro V. What does that mean? It means you get the full size Riot XO at a substantially lower price point, which is actually awesome and has implications for this series. At least, I guess, implications that I am personally hoping for. For some, my camera is having a hard time with this blue here. So I've been testing this with the camera and it straight up does not like this color. This color for some reason is throwing my camera for a loop. I'll give you an example here and just advertise my own <laughs> knife design real quick. No problem. But the moment I put this blue on camera, it's really interesting. I wonder if other uh, content creators are gonna have an issue with this. Perhaps if we uh, do some size comparisons up against uh, some of the brother knives, the Riot XOM, in the titanium and the Riot XO original size here. So this guy, the blue one, yeah, that seems to be <laughs> that seems to be helping. It is so weird. The camera on this, uh, this is an S24 Ultra, has never had an issue. But this is like the perfect tint of electric blue, and the camera has no idea how to focus on it. Anyways, this will come in a few different variations. Like you're looking at it, you're like, I don't like the two-tone or the Tanto. So I looked. You guys can go look too. I think they have the Blade HQ exclusive edition, which I assume is the one that's in blue, but maybe that extends to the black one as well. I'm honestly not sure. You actually have a few different blade options, including Tanto. Uh, I think double-sided, like it's like a bayonet grind, or perhaps it's a full dagger like this one. Um, but you have both two-tone and standard as well right? So you are not forced into getting the two-tone. I know that's not going to be everybody's favorite. Personally, I don't care because I'm going to beat, I'm going to beat the crud out of this knife. I love, I mean, I carried my uh, titanium one. Uh, this is the one that's in, is it in LMAX? Uh, that one's in 3V. And then my original, which has no lock, and this was the Crane's Color Exclusive Edition um, with the Zircata inlays, that one's in LMAX. Um, I've yet to pick one of these up, one of these longer ones with a lock. I know that they had made them, but I'm excited for this because, number one, the EXO is made by Riot. It's obviously a much more unique knife because we don't have an incredible number of gravity knives out there. I have a feeling that the boom of the gravity knife is, you know, going to occur. We've already had other companies kind of make their own gravity knives. I have a feeling that that's going to kind of come back in a few different ways. Um, but 
the XOM, I think, kind of started everything off, obviously wildly popular with people who can either legally own them and or carry them uh, in their state. Um, but uh, it's made by Riot with premium materials, titanium and LMAX or CPM3V. I think they've even had some other blade steels. But what's always been cool is the price tag when you compare it with other Riot knives and Riot being a company who is clearly a step above a lot of their competition, right? As far as like production knives go, Riot definitely makes some of the best in the world. Um, so I've always felt like the price tag was pretty good on the titanium ones. But for those people, you know, who are like, fine, that's great. I'm still not going to spend that much money on a knife. Uh, I think these guys come in at like 120 to 130. Uh, so you've got aluminum and nitro V, which I think is probably the right choice, right? They, they could have gone with something like 154 or even 14C28N, but I think there's a lot of acceptable steels there. Uh, I love that this has like that magnet switch on it. That is super cool. Um, I would love to see uh, the full-size one with aluminum and nitro V as well, and I bet you anything that at some point we're going to see that. Um, but I think this is a fantastic idea. I love that Riot is willing to work with materials like this to get some of these super cool knives into the hands of people who, uh, you know, can't afford some of the more premium stuff or just don't want to pay that much money for a simple bladed tool. I'll maintain, you know, a lot of people look at these Riot Exo knives and they see like a gimmick or they see, uh, you know, it's just like, it's all fidget factor and no function. And after carrying this guy for weeks and weeks and weeks, I would argue that tooth and nail. Uh, the XOM actually makes for a fantastic EDC knife. Uh, what is uh, being utilized for the locking system is actually very strong and very reliable, assuming you use this like a knife and not like a hammer or something else, you know, stupid. Um, it actually works really, really well. These new ones have pretty minimal movement. I mean, you're going to get, if you're squeezing this, you don't get hardly any. Let me squeeze it as hard as I can. You get a little tiny bit without squeezing it. There's a little bit of sound, but you're not going to get that while you're just holding it. Not nearly as much anyway, because I mean, you're holding on to it, right? Um, but what's locking it on either side, of course, are those two sort of pill shaped pieces of steel. In this case, that's creative there. Blade HQ just put their logo on there. But the aluminum, I mean, especially when you have contact all the way around and on both sides, that's more than enough to lock the knife out. I think these things have proven to be super strong. And with a steel like Nitro V, yeah, go ahead. I mean, you can beat on it and it'll you can bring it back to life, no problem. But I think these are really cool. Um, and I think these are obviously going to be super popular. I, I mean, obviously, given the fact that they have already sold out. Um, but yeah, Blade HQ said that there's more coming. I would not be surprised. I mean, th the benefit of aluminum is that it can be anodized to be like whatever color. I mean, you, you, we're, I have a feeling we're going to see like the entire rainbow when we, you know, consider like the different types of colors. You get the raw stuff, right? Red, blue, green, yellow, all the primary colors and everything in between. And then, um, you'll probably continue to see a wide variety of different, uh, you know, blade shapes and blade finishes, at least your tumbled satin and two tone, right? It would be super cool to get an all PVD one. I think like a blackout one would be really, really awesome. Um, they've got a lot of options here and I have a feeling these are going to be very popular for quite a while. So, um, I would expect to see them. I will review this knife because I am going to carry it and use it. And you know, it is an XOM, but it will vary a little bit given that, uh, the weight and the balance is a little bit different. We're looking at different materials and a totally different price point. So that does warrant its own review. So you will see a full comprehensive review of this knife down the road. I'm really sorry. I couldn't like, you know, go over this as, as much as I could. I don't know why my camera was having such a hard time with that color initially. Um, we do have some different texturing back here. This appears to be the same. And we still have ambi, oh, we got a ambi clip position that's different. Yeah, this can legitimately be um, carried left hand, it looks like. It has a filler tab there. That's probably been that way. I mean, the ones that I have are definitely older, especially this guy here. Um, does that one have a date on it? Yeah, 2022. Oh, this is serial number two. <laughs> I didn't realize that that one was that. <laughs> I didn't realize that one was that early. Holy moly. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then this one here would be 2023, 
Uh, January of 2023, number 375. Um, and these are probably not numbered by, this one isn't even numbered, right? They're probably numbered by series. Um, but uh, yeah, very cool. Would love to see a larger sized one. Uh, and a smaller size one that's not, do they already have, the, they already have the mini one that doesn't have the razor blade. I've, I've got two of the razor blade ones and I always, you know, I really enjoy those. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. I know a lot of people would be really excited about it. So expect to see the full comprehensive review of this and have a few weeks down the road. That's going to be pretty much it for today. Links in the description for all of the XOM knives. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.